What's up, everyone? Stephen here with Townhouse Listings. I just want to do a really quick, raw, dirty, whatever you want to call it, simple video. <laughs> uh, I am in the warehouse. Everyone's going home for the day. And I just kind of want to walk you around, show you some of the things we're up to, and let you kind of know where our focus is right now. Um, where it's always really been is extremely affordable tiny houses. Um, if you look at the prices of our tiny houses versus, let's just say, an RV, <laughs> Or the walls, or if you, you should go on YouTube and uh, type in like how an RV is made. Literally, the walls come on rolls. Built with two by twos in a lot of times, a lot of situations. Uh, extremely poor made, poorly made, uh, in my opinion. Not meant for um, full time living. And I see a lot of people trying to make that comparison. But uh, yeah, I mean, our homes are built, once you get to the trailer and up, built exactly like a regular home, actually built to a much higher standard. Every one of our homes are uh, rated at 140 mile per hour winds um, and can be placed anywhere in the United States. So our homes are built extremely well. Every one of them are certified. So I was gonna flip the camera around and kind of show you the some of the, what we're up to and kind of give you an idea of what, where we're at. So this is our LAD model. Sorry for the load lighting. We got everything turned off in this time of year. It just gets dark outside really quickly. But uh, this is our lab model, this is our 16 footer. And um, we're really proud of this model because we've figured out a way to make it cheaper, like I said earlier, than an actual RV. This is one that's under construction. You see quite a few more, that's a model tiny right there. Here's one that's under construction. This is going to a young lady in Eastern North Carolina. First time she's ever actually made any huge purchase or any regular purchase. For that matter she's just starting out her adulthood and so this will be her home we're really excited for her um, you can see there's another lab back there um, one thing we are going to start doing here in the very near future is we're going to have a 20 foot model of the lab so basically it'll go from 16 feet to 20 feet and that the only thing is this door will shift down just a little bit and it'll make the kitchen larger i'll go in, in there in a second and show you but um if you do the math with just a small down payment, you can have one of these tiny homes for about $350 per month. Um, really, really affordable home. It's mostly meant for single occupancy. Now, when we roll out the 20 foot model, we'll absolutely, you can absolutely put 20 people, uh, 20. <laughs> you can absolutely put two people in there. Um, but we'll kind of walk in there real quick and show you this one. This one's a little bit further along than this one back here. We got some other ones that are being built by there in the back, but haven't got quite as far. Um, so we'll walk in, show you kind of, we, we even redid the layout for, again, sorry for the load lighting. I'm going to try to make it a little bit brighter when we edit the video. Um, but the new layout is now, in the past, we only had a small kitchen here. Now we're doing an L-shaped kitchen that's kind of wrapping around, and that's going to give more counter space. Um, another option that we're doing here is this particular one actually doesn't have it, I don't think. Does this one have a gate? No, wheel? Uh, we will go to the one next door, but basically, I'll show you that too, but we're sliding the window over just a little bit. We're going to have a temporary, well, not a temporary, but kind of like a, you, you could sleep up there, but that's up to you. Um, but you could definitely have a nice storage loft above, and it really won't get in the way as far as ceiling height. We actually have a new kind of shower that we're working on too. It looks like a marble tile. Looks really cool. Big, huge windows throughout. This one doesn't have the ceiling on yet. We'll, we'll hop over there real quick and I'll show that to you. But again, this one's made, the lad is mostly made for single occupancy. But again, when we move over to the 12 foot model, I mean the 20 foot model, that's really going to change the game. Again, sorry for the low lighting, but this, this back wall, thanks Gabe, <laughs> will get pushed back four more feet and you'll have more living space and you'll be able to do a lot different configurations. Already you can now, you can have a bed back here. Bed here, bed here, table, chairs, whatever you want. So just in such a small compact space, 16 feet, the way the layouts, everything's kind of tucked back this way, it really, really makes it spacious. Um, again, we've kind of moved the layout to where it's gonna be an L-shaped kitchen, and that'll give you a lot more countertop space. And uh, as soon as we get this first one done with that layout, we'll show it to you. We'll do a quick video update for you. Um, but this is really kind of the, direction we're going in we want to have and our model tiny is the same we've figured out a way to uh, bring the price on that one down five thousand so that one's 24 feet and 28 foot models um we've done a lot of videos on here in the past with that particular model but yeah the lab i think it's kind of where things are in terms of people are looking extremely affordable um tiny home that they can have a small monthly payment or pay cash for for less than the price 
of a new car. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.